Okay, y'all. Now I have an interesting book I picked up. It's called Make Something Beautiful, Coloring in the Maximalist Style by Barry J. Um, it's a beautiful book. It's published by Get Creative 6. Paperweight, nice and thick. I don't know if you can see the pretty little gray floral background here. Anyway, there's an introduction by the artist herself. And what you these pages are perforated. This book is um I lost my ruler, but I think it's about eight by ten. Let's see. It's actually eight by eleven. Nine by eleven. Pages are perforated. They are one sided, but nice and thick. And she has these beautiful backgrounds, not on all the pages. I know some of you don't like it when your images are partly colored, but I love the way she's done this, actually. Um, they're subtle, and not like I said, not all of them have them. But here you have the abstract down here and a beautiful paisley print back behind the teacups. Can you see that? They're, they're not real heavy, not real dark. And the abstract down there to represent the table. I think they're really quite lovely. I'm looking forward to trying something in this. Again, not all of them have it. It seems like about every other page. Some of them just with the black background. Not at all here. Beautiful florals. Interesting peacock with fauna as the feathers. A lovely little flora alphabet. This is adorable. You could do somebody's name in these. Really cute. Pretty little sagey lime green background on this one. Kind of a little terracotta, light terracotta color. I love this deer and he's got a pretty little um, abstract like floral behind him. But it's really subtle. It doesn't uh, take away from the the drawing itself at all. Here's some mushrooms with the pretty little purple clusters behind them. They just seem to work with the cacti and this background looks so good together. The owls with the pretty little floral mint green colored background. I hope you can see this all right. I mean, it's getting kind of dark out. See the background? Sorry about the shadow. I don't have blinds over my skylights. I like to feel the sunshine. When you're shut in, you need skylights and high ceilings. Pretty little background on this one with the floral and some bees. Love it. I think this is the front picture. Yeah. It really doesn't take away from it at all, I don't think. She's kind of picked up the colors and the dress on the front here. It's really lovely. I don't know. What do you all think about this? Does the background bother you on this? I really think it's kind of cool. Like I said, she doesn't do it with all of them. Here's a beautiful. These look like dogwood to me. Or apple blossoms, maybe. A little paisley in a tan print instead of black. Pretty little hummingbirds. This reminds me of my bestie Kathy. Hope you're feeling better, Kath. I think I might live now. Maybe. I don't know what these are. If those are those spore things. You know those plants that got the holes in them? You know, they, they big pod. They got a bunch of holes in them. I don't know what they're called. But a long time ago, I seen it photoshopped onto a pretty little Asian girl's arm, and it looked like a wound, kind of. Ever since then, I can't stand to see those plants. I know, crazy, right? But every time I see one of those pods, I think of that pretty little Asian girl, and it was photoshopped into her forearm. Ugh, it was gross looking. I love this. Jenna, you would like that. 
That could be uh, Frankie. Beautiful. I think it's well done. Bloom. Feathers. Pictures aren't so complicated that they drive you crazy, but they'd be good for beginning to advanced. Love the backgrounds. I don't mind them a bit. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm looking forward to doing something in this book. Isn't she pretty? Birds on a paisley background. Yikes. Here are my gals. Lunchtime. Little raccoon with an abstract background. Another black background. Pretty little floral page. Some roses with a terracotta weave behind them. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Love the deer with the pretty little background. Lots to color in here. Nice variety between plants and animals. And then on the, these are the last few pages, and these are really thick cardstock pages. They're like a vanilla in color. You hear that? Heavy, heavy. About 140 pound. Beautiful. Fairy wings. All with backgrounds, I believe. Nope, here's some butterflies without a background. Very, very thick. Frameable. Artist quality. This would take water markers, alcohol markers, anything. Very, very thick. Beautiful book. I will leave a link where you can purchase this. I think you would enjoy. Tell me what you think. Thanks, y'all.